Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will create a colorful gradient web UI design inside of Adobe Illustrator with the help of some very simple techniques. It won't matter whether you are a beginner or an amateur, this tutorial is for everyone. So with that said, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a new artboard. So hit Ctrl N and let's call this UI design. Actually, it's a web design. So let's call this web design 1920 into 1080. If I go into my advanced option, you can see the color mode is set to RGB and the raster effects are set to 300 PPI. Click on create. For the colors, I'm going to use the same color palette that I have. So I'm going to hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy paste the color palette. And you can use the same color palette if you want, or you can use any of your favorite colors. Also make sure to download the free project file from the link in the description box below. So right off the bat, I'm going to start by creating the gradient. Now for creating the background gradient, I will be using a new tool that comes in Adobe illustrator cc2019 because that is what i am using i'm use i'm going to use the free from gradient tool that you can see right over here but in case if you're using an older version you won't get that, this option and at that time you can use the linear gradient as well so i'll show you both the ways i'll show you how you can create the gradient with the free from gradient and also with the linear gradient so let's start by selecting our rectangle tool and let's create a rectangle just like so I think I need to turn on the snapping so I'll just go into and let's type let's actually snap to point and close the snap to pixels and I can click and create a new rectangle which is going to be 1920 by 1080 hit OK and align it into the center. Now let's select our gradient tool. I'm going to select the free from gradient and now you can see it's going to give us some points. So if I want, I can add some more points just like so. And then I can select and add any color that I want. So I'm going to select or double click on this, select the pick whip tool and select the yellow color that I have. I can also increase the intensity or the spread of the color using this circle that we have. So I'm going to keep it something like that. Select this point. And let's apply this nice pink color that we have for this one. I'm going to do the same thing. And I'll just control the spread a bit. Select this one. And let's use the purple color. Same for this one. And same for this one as well. And there we have quickly created a nice looking gradient now you can tweak it you can control the spread as i told you guys for this one maybe i'll go with a nice a bit of a red color that looks much better i think yep that is looking cool now in case if you don't have the free from gradient what you can do is let's duplicate this so i'll hold alt and just drag it to create one more copy and let's use a linear gradient all right, let's add a point for this one. I'll use the nice yellow color that we have for this one. Let's actually move it right over here so you can see it more properly. For this one, I'll use the nice pink and for this one, I'll use the purple. And then I can just tweak this one. So I'll rotate this. And then I can position it the way I want. So I'll just drag it a bit and adjust it. Now it's going to not look that organic the way it looks with the freeform tool, but still you can create a nice gradient. And there we go. 
This way you can also create the same looking gradient but it won't have that organic look and feel but if you like this way of gradient you can still use it. So that is how you can create it. Now I think the yellow is a bit too intense so what I'll do is I'll just bring down the spread a bit. Okay that is looking good and there we have our gradient. Now let's go ahead and add an image. So I'll use this image that I downloaded from the unsplash.com. I'll mention the link down in the description so you can use the same image if you want to. I'll just dock it up right over here. And there we have a nice image. So what I'll do is I'll select the pen curvature tool and create a nice shape that goes with our design. So I'll create something like this. There we go. So I'm going to take some time to tweak the shape. You can of course create a different shape in case if you want it. And then what I can do is I can place it on the top of my image, select both the layers, right click, make a nice clipping mask. I think I'm going to hit Ctrl Z, maybe increase the, sh increase the size of the shape a bit. And then let's do clipping mask. There we go, that is looking pretty cool. One thing that we need to do is hold alt and create a copy, release the clipping mask because I forgot a step. So I'll delete this, select the shape and hit I and use the same gradient. Then place it on the shape a bit precisely using the arrow keys. And then change the blending mode of this to soft light. So as you can see, this looks very, very nice. It helps to blend the image with our design actually. Also, I can go ahead and hide this layer. Let's add a drop shadow on this. So I'll go into effects, stylize, drop shadow. Make sure to turn on the preview. I like to set it at normal and opacity. I'll go with maybe 30%. For the X offset, I'll bring that down to around 4 and this one to 4 as well. Let's increase the blur to around 30. Let's see how it looks. Yep, that is looking very nice. Let's hit OK and turn on our overlay. So that is looking pretty good. Let's select all the layers. First of all, I'll just lock this background gradient. Select this, hit Control. G to group it up and let's increase the size a bit. There we go. That is looking much better. Now let's go ahead and type in all the details, all the text that we want. So I'll select the text tool and I'm going to type in, actually let's increase the size a bit. And for the font, I'll go with a Nexa. Nexa bold looks good. I'm going to type in gradient you can of course type in your company name or your company logo if you want to let's bring down the size to around i'll go with a nice 48 pixels and make this white as you can see that is looking pretty nice maybe i'll go with the next uh, regular bold is looking a bit too thick Next up, book looks perfect, I think. Yeah, that is looking good. Let's select this whole alt and duplicate this. I'm going to type in a design. And for this one, I'll use an XR bold. Let's increase size. I think it's a bit too thick as well. So I'll just experiment with a different Wait, so I'll go with an XR regular. That is looking much better. There we go. Hit Control R to bring up the rulers and I'll bring out a guide. Just to be a bit more precise, just like that. 
then i can select gradient whole alt and duplicate this and then we can add our tagline and stuff so i'll just you know copy paste this text Let's increase the size a bit. Go with a nice 34 pixels. And that is looking good. Let's add a small description. So actually I'll just copy this. Control C. You can of course type in any description that you want. I don't need to say that again and again. let's increase the size also you can go into the character and increase the spacing a bit just a touch okay so that is looking pretty good and le let's also add some tabs let's go right here let's bring down the size to around let's go 21 and for the weight i'll go with the next uh, regular or actually let's go with the next uh, bold let's type in a text home alt and duplicate this wow just dragging it away and let's call this one portfolio hold alt and drag it again let's call this one products Hold Alt and drag it and let's call this one contact. And now let's select all the four text and align it properly. Make sure the alignment is set to align to selection and then align it. There we go. Looking much better. I'll maybe bring this down to 18. that is looking great and lastly let's add some details like the share button the share icon so i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v you can i obviously download it from the internet so i can place it just like so same i'm going to do with the icons that i have ctrl c ctrl v let's increase the size align it into the center let's place it right over here maybe bring this down a bit and then i can add some lines just to add a little bit of accent to this we increase the size of the stroke to two and change the color of this one to white hold alt and drag it there we go looking good and finally i'm gonna add a button to this so let's select the rectangular tool we don't need any stroke for this just a nice shape and i'm gonna use this gradient that we have this time I'm going to use a linear one so I'll just in the white section I'll use a nice um, pink color oh make sure you pick quick from this one let's go right here select the gradient and let's actually pick with this pink color and for this one oh I'll pick with the nice yellow color that we have also I want to make them rounded so I'll just tweak this a bit and play around with the size go into the view I'm gonna turn on the snapping okay I'll just bring down the size a bit okay that is looking good let's select the text hold ctrl shift and 
open square bracket oh make sure you select the text hit control shift and close square bracket to bring this on the top or you can just right click go to arrange and bring to front let's make this nice and small and edit the text for the font i'll go with the next uh, bold and that is looking good actually let's bring this down make it a nice and small and align it to the center of the button hit ctrl g to group them up and i can just bring them down a bit and there we go there we have a nice colorful gradient ui web design so i hope you enjoyed this very nice and easy tutorial and if you did if you guys are enjoying this adobe illustrator tutorials then do let me know in the comment section below and that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative